This is Sark Track. The satellite antenna rotator, controller, and tracker, by the School Amateur Radio Club Network, at www.sarknet.org. And this is the Sark Track 3D sensor. This video shows how to calibrate the sensor. The sensor is a 3 axis magnetometer and accelerometer. It measures the magnitude and direction of the Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields. The Earth's gravitational field points straight down, of course. In the southern hemisphere, the Earth's magnetic field points upwards. It points down, in the northern hemisphere, and is horizontal, at the equator. Here in Melbourne, Australia, the magnetic field points up at an angle of 69 degrees. This is called the magnetic inclination. And, it is 12 degrees east of true north. This is called the magnetic declination. Sark Track has a built in world magnetic database, and displays this information at your location, on the Sark Track selection page. These angles are important, because Sark Track uses the Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields themselves to calibrate the scaling and offset of each axis of the sensor. I have taped the Sark Track sensor, to the center of a plastic ruler, to reduce any bumps, during the calibration process. I note that the sensor has six sides, front, rear, left, right, top, and bottom. I need to point each side in the direction of each field. There are 12 points in all, and I need to carefully search around each point while Sark Track collects calibration data. Sark Track beeps while it is collecting data. I have to move it around each point until Sark Track stops beeping. I start the calibration process by pressing the begin button on the Sark Track selection page. If I bump or drop the sensor during calibration, I press the abort button, and have to start over. When I have finished the calibration process, I press the save button. Let's get started. I am facing magnetic north to simplify the process. I press the begin button, and do a rough calibration, by slowly rotating the sensor around, in two horizontal axes. Now I focus on the front side of the sensor. I point the front side of the sensor vertically. I search around that point until Sark Track stops beeping. Due to heavy filtering while calibration is in process, the data takes a few seconds to settle at each point. This is point number one complete. Next, I point the front side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark Track stops beeping. Sometimes, if the rough calibration was sufficient, there are no beeps at all, at some calibration points. So I just move on to the next one. This is point number two complete. Now I focus on the top side of the sensor. I point the top side of the sensor vertically, and search around until Sark Track stops beeping. Whenever I hear another beep, I stop and concentrate around that point. This is point number three complete. Next, I point the top side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark Track stops beeping. This is point number 4 complete. Now I focus on the rear side of the sensor. I point the rear side of the sensor vertically, 
and search around until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 5 complete. Next, I point the rear side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 6 complete. Now I focus on the left side of the sensor. I point the left side of the sensor vertically, and search around until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 7 complete. Next, I point the left side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 8 complete. Now I focus on the right side of the sensor. I point the right side of the sensor vertically, and search around until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 9 complete. Next, I point the right side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 10 complete. Now I focus on the bottom side of the sensor. I point the bottom side of the sensor vertically, and search around until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 11 complete. Next. I point the bottom side north, at my local magnetic inclination, and search around again until Sark track stops beeping. This is point number 12, and the last calibration point complete. If I want, I can check around each of the points again for more calibration data. When the calibration process is finished, I press the save button. Sark track will use this calibration data every time it powers up. It is not necessary to repeat this calibration process, unless the local magnetic conditions near the sensor change, for example, if I move Sark track near to a steel structure. This completes this instructional video on calibrating the SarkTrack 3D sensor.